in uh, Hartford, moved to Wyoming, moved back here in 15. Uh, Latter-day Saint, or was, until we moved back here, and now you, you hit the streets of Hartford. Uh, well, I'm a licensed plumber, sprinkler fitter, uh, alcoholic, but uh, for the past four and a half years when I got divorced, I took the alcohol and haven't been uh, back since, you know, in a constant stream of detoxes and programs. How long have you been uh, coming to the Mercy? I, I, I come here occasionally. I don't come very often. I mean, when, when I come, I just come to get coffee or take a leak, you know. This is a, it's a, good, it's a good nice place. It's a good place. So what's a, kind of take us through what you've been doing lately? Um, how you've been going about this? Uh, up until six days ago, I was, uh, I, I, I work under the table, so I get paid. I'll go out and buy some bourbon, some drink, you know. We end up going to the MAC, the IMAC, it's Immaculate Conception Shelter. Uh, we're staying at a friend's house. I have a friend. Sometimes I'll stay there depending on how drunk I am. So, what kind of work did you do before this? Yeah, I'm a licensed plumber. I did City Place. I did City. You know, I mean, I, you know, I'm a union plumber. Spent two and a half years doing City Place. I did uh, the New Travelers. You know, sprinklers like these here. That's the kind of stuff I do. I've been doing it since January 1974. So, what kind of work are you looking for now? Same thing? Yeah, I mean, this is. I'm, now that I'm sober and have been for seven days, uh, I, I've got to get a real job. I mean, I have, I have three three licenses, F2, F2, S2, and P2, which are occupational licenses through the state of Connecticut. Uh, and I got to get to, to back back to real work. You know, not not this bullshit of uh, you know, working. Two days and then drinking for three, you know. That's what that's what got me here to begin with. I was married for 25 years. My wife warned me five of those years: stop, stop drinking, stop drinking whiskey, stop drinking whiskey. And apparently, uh, the whiskey was more important to me than my wife and two kids, dog, two cats, suburban, Ducati 800. Apparently, drinking that that bottle of Jim Beam is more important than. Uh, all that put together. My wife's a teacher in the city of Hartford. She's a great woman, you know. I'm the one that messed it up. I mean, seriously, that's the fact. I was warned several times. Um, so what's uh, what's the job market like? I mean, I don't know how much it's, it's gone out, but what does it look like? Well, I haven't really, like I said, I haven't really done much, but I haven't really done much looking around. Uh, I'll continue to work under the table, you know, with my friend and their side jobs until, I mean, there's always, I mean, I can always find work. I can go to Kenya and find work, you know, I mean, it's not a question. I got, like I said, the occupational licenses are valid throughout New England, you know, but codes, codes vary from state to state, but not, you know, that much. Uh, you know, I just kind of in a transition period. Yeah, I'm in a transition period. Right you know, I, I mean, I came down here today. This is the first time I've been here in weeks. But I came down because I wanted a cup of coffee. And I have to go over to the Hispanic Council over there and make a couple phone calls. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, and then from there, I, I got an AA meeting at noon at Lewis and Gold. So I'm gonna, because I gotta do that, I gotta do one a day for 90 days. You know, I gotta get out of this rut, this is, this is great. I'm 56 years old. You know, I when, when I was at Blue Hills uh, Detox, they uh, pulled you know, eight gallons of blood out of me and uh, knock on steel. My, my, my liver is good, my uh, pancreas is good. I haven't got any kind of, of course, I'm not a, you know, I don't do drugs, all I do is drink. I'm, I'm good to go. I smoke two or three cigarettes a day, which is, you know, I shouldn't even do that, but two or three, you know, 
That's my Okay. Thank you very much. Hope I helped you out.